Who would have ever thought that week three of the NFL season will see a variety of notable stars and names be sidelined with injuries for a significant amount of time? The latest being Ben Roethlisberger, in addition to Tony Romo, Des Bryant, Drew Brees, and much more. The backup roles play a pivotal part in this week's upcoming games, but we need to highlight week three of the NFL season as we present our latest edition of Gridiron Kicks. In today's episode, we'll provide you with our starting 11, as well as our throwback of the week, feature a couple of college players that dominated this weekend's games, as well as provide you with a couple of quick hits and see what you wore during this past week's of action with the Gridiron Kicks hashtag. So without further ado, venture with your man Pierce Simpson as we present this latest episode of Gridiron Kicks. And now for our starting 11, where we feature the 11 best cleats seen throughout week three of the NFL season. At the number 11 spot, we head to Sunday Night Football as the Detroit Lions took on the Denver Broncos. Holding in comfortably at that spot is Calvin Johnson of the Detroit Lions, who rocked the Detroit Lions PE of his latest signature silhouette, the Nike CJ3 Elite TD. At number 10 is Tampa Bay Buccaneers rookie Jameis Winston, who took on the Houston Texans, rocking this Nike Lunar Beast Elite TD, incorporating Bucks hues throughout. At number nine is Buffalo Bills wide receiver Sammy Watkins, who looked to haul in this pass against Bryce McCain of the Miami Dolphins, we're rocking a Bills PE of the Adidas Crazy Quick 2.0. At number eight is AJ Green, who had a historic day, capturing over 200 receiving yards as the Cincinnati Bengals barely beat the Baltimore Ravens. Incorporating Bengals hues throughout this PE of the Nike Vapor Speed, Green would also have gold-plated bottoms on this model. At number seven is Marty B, R. Martellus Bennett of the Chicago Bears, who took on the Seattle Seahawks, rocking this mostly black colorway of the Air Jordan 7. At number six is Buffalo Bills quarterback Tyrod Taylor, who continues to impress Buffalo Bills fans as the Bills would defeat divisional rival, the Miami Dolphins. Taylor will rock Calvin Johnson's latest signature silhouette, the Nike CJ3 Elite TD, incorporated a mostly black upper as he would turn in an impressive performance. At number five is our second Detroit Lions wide receiver on the countdown in Golden Tate. Tate would take on the Denver Broncos in a Sunday night football matchup, rocking this Souls by Sir custom of the Air Jordan 7. At number four is the newly found and newly acquired Oakland Raiders wide receiver, Michael Crabtree, who's turned in impressive PEs throughout the season thus far of their Jordan 7. This latest may be his best yet, as we saw a mostly white upper with hints of silver throughout. And now for our top three within our starting 11 countdown. At the number three spot is Carolina Panthers quarterback Cam Newton, who has impressed us all this season rocking a variety of notable models both pre-game and during the game. His in-game silhouette this week may be his best yet, as he incorporates tiger-like hues throughout the upper of his latest Under Armour C1N signature model. In addition to pregame, he had neon-like hints along the bottom of his silhouette. At number two is Torrey Smith of the San Francisco 49ers, who arguably may have the best custom of the year thus far, considering the magnitude it holds as it commemorates his fallen brother that passed away several years ago. Incorporating 49er hues throughout the upper, Torrey Smith wears this against their matchup with the Arizona Cardinals. Created by Creative Custom Kicks and Des Customs, who works with the likes of Antonio Brown and several other notable NFL stars, this custom model is one of the strongest within the Green Iron Kicks history. Now at the number one spot within our starting 11 countdown is Green Bay Packers defensive back, Sam Shields, who sported this vibrant PE of the Nike Mercurial model as he intercepted a pass from Alex Smith during last night's Monday night football matchup against the Kansas City Chiefs. Although he's been seen in various models throughout his career, such as Under Armour, Sam Shields continues to be a sleeper within our Gridiron Kicks countdown. Now, we always look to highlight our collegiate players that are showcasing notable kicks, as well as providing stellar outings during their matchups. Two players that come to mind is Trayvon Boykin of the TCU Horned Frogs and Leonard Fournette of the LSU Tigers, who both enjoy rocking the Nike Vapor Untouchable cleat and a variety of their team's PEs. Leonard has been seen in an all-white colorway, as well as a purple and white hue, and so has Trayvon Boykin, who took on the Texas Tech Red Raiders, who had a rather thrilling finish with a tip pass securing a touchdown as they hold their number two ranking within the top 25 polls. With Michael Vick getting a start during week four with Ben Roethlisberger injured due to a bum knee, we decided to highlight Vick within our throwback of the week. So we take things back to the 2010 season as he was a member of the Philadelphia Eagles and during this divisional matchup against the Washington Redskins on Monday Night Football, delivered a bomb to then Eagles wide receiver Deshaun Jackson. Check it out. And we always look to highlight those that utilize the Gridiron Kicks hashtag within Instagram and Twitter to showcase what they sported during their respective games. Big Dot Lee 68 sported this Nike silhouette during his matchup using the hashtag Gridiron Kicks and game day. Dr. Les.Jack on Instagram sported his Under Armour Highlight MC 
incorporating a mostly white and gray silhouette as he came out with a W, 36 day. P underscore Cinco arguably may have the best set of cleats and gloves within the Gridiron Kicks hashtag, as he had a red and white silhouette of the Nike Vapor Untouchable, along with corresponding Nike gloves and Nike towel. And IX.X.X.MM showcased his Under Armour C1N signature that incorporated an ankle strap and silver highlights throughout the upper. Now, as we continue to head to week four, be on the lookout for several notable names that are sure to rock some intriguing silhouettes during upcoming matchups such as Sam Shields, who's our number one spot within starting 11, Antonio Brown, who's been seen in a variety of Des Customs, custom models as of late, and a variety of Jordan brand endorsers who will either wear the silhouette or won't happen to wear them. Shout out to Joe Hayden now. <laughs> but until next time, I'm your host, Pierce Simpson, and thank you for tuning in to week three's episode of Gridiron Kicks. Peace.